In the following few minutes, you will see a preview of what to expect when you go to an ETS certified test administration site to take your TOEFL IBT test. Hi, I'm here for TOEFL test. Yes, yeah, can I have your name, please? Kwong Lee. Thank you. And do you have a photo ID? Upon arrival, yes. you will be asked to present acceptable and valid ID with your name, signature, and photograph. ID requirements depend on your country of citizenship and where you plan to take the test. Before you go to the test center, visit the ETS TOEFL website to review the ID document requirements. It is your responsibility to ensure that your ID documents are up to date and available on the day of the test. You will need to have registered in advance for the test. Please visit the ETS TOEFL website for information about how to register to test and apply for accommodations if you need them. Some testing facilities are located at colleges and universities, and others are business technology facilities. Facilities are independently operated, but adhere to standards set by the testing organization. Although lockers are not a requirement at these centers, many do provide storage facilities. Cell phones are not allowed in the test center, and personal items other than ID are not allowed in the testing room. You will not have access to your personal items during the test, so please plan accordingly. Test centers are not responsible for your personal belongings. You can just have a seat in our waiting area and we'll call you once you're ready. Mr. Lee, if you can come with me, please. A test center administrator, or TCA, will conduct a detailed pre-test check-in. Hi, welcome to Permetric. My name's Mark. I'll be your test center administrator today. Do you have your ID, please? You will be required to write and sign a confidentiality statement and have your photo taken. We're going to take your picture now, so I'd like you to slide your chair all the way over and look directly at the camera. There. This Excellent. procedure is designed to ensure fairness and make certain that the person taking the test is the real candidate. Okay, during the course of your exam, if you have any questions, all you need to do is raise your hands. Myself or one of my fellow TCAs will come and help you. Your TCA will explain the testing procedures and the rules that apply to your test. The TCA will answer all your questions and provide you with everything you will need for your examination, including scratch paper for your use during time sections of the test. I'm going to give you two pencils to use. Should you break one, uh, feel free to uh, raise your hand and I'll bring you another one. I also have a scratch paper booklet here with eight blank sides. Should you Remember, the only personal item you will be taking into the test area is your ID. Todd will now escort you to your workstation. Follow me. You will be escorted to your assigned testing station. The first screen you will see contains your personal data and your photo. If this information is correct, click Continue. As you begin, you will be shown several information screens, ending with a confidentiality statement. Clicking Enter signifies you agree with the terms and conditions. During the test, you will use a headset with a microphone for the questions that have listening passages or that require speaking. You may wear the headset for the entire exam if you wish to help lock out background noise. You will also be asked to do a microphone check. This will ensure that your microphone is working properly and that your speaking responses will be recorded. There are directions at the beginning of each section. After you have read the directions, the first question will be displayed. Your examination clock will begin when you start the first section of the actual test. The clock will appear in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. If you find it distracting, you can use the time tool to hide the clock. Your test has no tutorial. However, basic navigation instructions and question type information are available by clicking Help. A TCA will periodically walk through the test area. If you have a question or a problem with your computer at any time, just raise your hand. TCAs are not allowed to answer questions regarding test content. The test centers are equipped with video cameras, and these images are continually monitored. The TOEFL IBT test is given in English and consists of four separately timed sections. The four sections are reading, listening, speaking, and writing. 
There is a mandatory 10-minute break between the listening and speaking sections. If you need to leave your seat at any time other than a scheduled break, your test clock will not stop and will continue to run. When you take a break, you will need to take your ID with you. You will need to show your ID again and show that your pockets are empty before you re-enter the testing room. Some test sites also require you to sign out and sign back in again. At the end of the examination, you are given the option to report or cancel your scores. If you choose to cancel your scores, you and your designated recipients will not receive your scores and you will not receive a refund. When you finish your test, bring everything back to the check-in area and sign out. You can then retrieve your personal belongings if they are stored in a locker. The TCAs will do their best to make your testing experience as pleasant as possible. If you have questions at any time, please do not hesitate to ask the TCA for assistance.